get to Cincy now for a huge matchup between the Chiefs and the Bengals. KC's 9-2. Bengals are 7-4, but getting hot at the right time. A lot of history between these two. Patrick Mahomes is 1-2 against Joe Burrow's team. He's never lost to a team three times in the NFL. Their first game last season was in week 17 in well, Cincinnati. The Chiefs mm. built a 28-14 mm. lead in the second quarter. But Joe Burrow led the Bengals back, throwing for 446 yards, Man. four touchdowns. Three of those touchdowns Money. went to who else? Jamar Chase. And then, of course, as Randy said, Evan McPherson Money kicked Mac. a field Money goal. As time expired to give the Bengals the AFC North title. They met again in Kansas City for the AFC Championship, and it was all Chiefs early as Mahomes and company led 21-3 late in the second quarter. And Bengals but don't go away. The however, Bengals however came away. back <laughs> again with Burrow finding Chase to tie it in the third quarter and then leading them to a win in overtime to move on to the Super Bowl. Both teams know a lot's on the line today. Obviously, any time that someone beats you the year before, you want to beat them, especially in a game like they beat us in to, to go to the Super Bowl. Kick is up. Yeah. Hit. Yeah. Good. The Cincinnati Bengals are headed to Super Bowl 56. We're really confident in ourselves. You know, we're, we, have, we feel like we can beat any team in the league, and we've proven that. He's got it. Touchdown! It is Higgins. He's a very talented receiver, too. More of a finesse type of guy. Um, not the best blocker. Um, I'm going to lock him down. You know, <laughs> straight up. I don't know. I mean, you could pick anybody in this locker room, but you know, I feel like I'm the last person you probably want to talk about because uh, I have a long memory. Uh, we're not going to go out and be scared of anybody. We're, we're going to go out and play our game. Oh, the drama in this one. He called him a finesse guy. That's like the F word in this game. You can't be calling a guy a finesse guy. Our Dan Graziano knows all about it. What's the latest from Sissy, Dan? Yeah, you know, Sam, how sometimes in a situation like this, a team will say, like, oh, well, that was last year. We can't let that affect us. It's a new year, new team. The Chiefs didn't say that this week. They are still upset about losing that AFC championship game, losing twice to this team late last year. And there's no question it has been on their minds. Defensive tackle Chris Jones this week talked about a missed sack on Joe Burrow in the final 10 minutes of the AFC championship game. He said that was a driving force for him this offseason. It is still with him. So the Chiefs are absolutely motivated by this. And their coach, Andy Reid, knows it. The message from Reid and the coaching staff to the players this week has been, you want to use that as motivation? Fine, great, whatever works for you. But don't get your emotions too high so they're at the point where you can't execute. They also challenge the players, if you're going back and reviewing that game, if you want to get mad, you want to get motivated, fine, but also find at least one thing you individually could have done better and learn from it and apply it to this game this week. Yeah, Dan, you got to get practical in a game like this because emotions are running so high. I love that response, though. I love them just getting petty and saying everything they actually want to say. This, is... this matchup feels like it gets bigger every time they play. We know what we've seen from Joe Burrow and Patrick Mahomes. For whatever reason, though, Mahomes seems to struggle with these guys. Make it make sense for me, Teddy. Why? I don't know about making it sense, but uh, it, it's, it's just crazy. These two teams, it's almost like you can feel they both know what they can be. I like that. Like, we are it. The team in the AFC in Kansas City thinks it's them, but then the Bengals are saying, no, 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 wait a second. But the Kansas City Chiefs, they feel it. They feel that pressure, and you can almost sense that. That's why this game's going to be so good. You can go scheme. I mean, you can go effort. But yeah. this Bengal defense, what they did against you know, Patrick Mahomes in the, in the AFC Championship oh, yeah. game last year was just incredible. Lou Anarumo, he did a great job of it. I mean, it's hustle. The hustle brothers. Hendrickson and Hubbard, you see it right there, trying to get a reroute on, on Kelsey. But, it, fellas, everybody, get comfortable. Look how long this play goes, all right? This is 9, That's 10, good defense. That's 10.3 seconds. You got coverage in the yes. back, and you got effort coming up from effort coming from the three-man rush. Sam Hubbard right here. He tries to get a little reroute. He's now the spy. Lou Anarumo saying, we can play longer than you. We can do it better than you. Hubbard comes up out of his spy position, makes a play. 9.9 .9 seconds. Fellas, I'm tired going through these two plays. Because <laughs> I, I was told in a linebacker meeting room early in my career, can you go hard for four seconds? You think you can go hard for four seconds every single play, Teddy? Heck yeah, coach, I can go four seconds. That's the average length of how long it goes. You go eight, nine, ten seconds, I mean, that's forever. Mm. But the Bengals, they don't care. 
They got they, they had their number last year, and they've got Hendricks and Hubbard that they can do a great yeah, job. You're on. talking about the scheme that worked last year, Rex. You talked about they nailed it last year. Kind of surprised them in the fourth quarter of the AFC Championship game. Drop eight, rush three. Mahomes looked like you know it, 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 it shocked him a little bit, right? And that's what you get. But well, that was last year, and this is this year. You guys know I went to Kansas City. I talked to Andy Reid. I talked to Patrick Mahomes. I said to Andy Reid, well, let's take a listen to what I, what I asked him. It's your job to coach up one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. What do you think the best thing that he does is? I think he's smart, smart. He's, he's smart, smart. So what does that mean this year, 2022? Three-man rush, drop eight. Is it a problem this year? No, because I spent the whole offseason studying it. I know how to attack drop eight. Oh, you're going to bluff me with a blitz and then just rush three? No problem. I understand what the weaknesses are when you try to do that. It showed up as a weakness in the AFC Championship last gate last year. Like right, Sometimes you might have, they might put a spy on you. Fine, you got to use your arm on time. Look at that, undefendable in my mind. He's got it all. He's locked in the intelligence side of this, okay? The recognition, the, de the decision-making against great pass rushers. Buy a little bit of time, find room, and let those defenders try to... I don't care if you have eight. I tr truly, honestly, don't care if you have nine, okay? He has learned from the mistakes of last year, and Dan Graziano did a great job of talking about how, hey, they're not shying away from what last year could have been. They're using it as motivation, but more importantly, they're using it as a way to learn from the mistakes. Yeah, you know what? It's funny because Patrick Mahomes, all the attention's about how they played him on defense, and it was a brilliant move. Okay, I remember trying to do it in a championship game against you guys and, and Tom Brady, and it worked for one game. The next time, pff, disaster. However, the matchup that I'm concerned with is on the other side of the ball. Spags loves to bring pressure, the defense coordinator for Kansas City. This is the wrong team yes, to attack it is. with man coverage. Jamar Chase, you, you mentioned Trouble. Randy. Trouble. At, Trouble with a capital T. T. Higgins. I'm telling you. And so is the other guy. T. T. Higgins. T. Higgins. Yeah. I mean, Joe Burrow will pick him apart. It's just a horrible matchup. The fact that's played in Cincinnati also – think is a factor in this game so to me I think it's going to be an outstanding game but I can't wait to see that matchup and even when it is man coverage Burrow is, is enough of an athlete that he can break break he can avoid that Chris, play Jones. With Chris Jones yeah, yeah. And then he runs for a first down Rex, he can do it all do you think Spags will change like we know what he typically does do you think the Kansas City style will be different on defense I think he has to I, I absolutely think he has to but it's not going to be easy I think they're going to try initially in this game we're going to be ourselves. We're going to be ourselves. Oh, oh we better change. <laughs> like they got to, in the back of his mind, he's he's got to think what I would have done different. That's what you do as a coach. But you can't cover these two. One thing I know for a fact, you cannot. That safety can cover Hayden Hurst all he wants. They can't cover those two guys on the outside. If, if, and I think that's the truth. So if Coach yeah. Spags is going to have to change his defensive style up, that means he's going to have to have to do what, Rex? Drop in zone, they're less man. They're going to have to play way more zone. Have to. They have to get people underneath these two great receivers. Right. And have help on top. Well, Matt, you're just talking about last year. One thing about last year, the offensive line for the Cincinnati Bengals didn't represent the AFC. The offensive line was terrible. Yeah. A new revamp offensive line. The only one they kept was the left tackle. So you're talking about the tape you put on with Chris Jones and uh, Joe Burrow being, evade, being able to evade the rush. I'm interested in, in the two guards, the, the two new guys mm -hmm. of four that they got for the Cincinnati Bengals. I'm talking about Cap and Volson. If they're able to contain the middle with the way Chris Jones is getting after quarterbacks this season, it could be a long, long day for that defense for the Kansas City Chiefs. Can I just say something real quick about this defense of the Bengals and defensive coordinator Lou Anarumo? You're going from one week, Derrick Henry and the Titans, <laughs> to the next week, the Cincinnati Bengals and Joe Burrow and those receivers. If totally he can do well, well in these yeah. two, oh my gosh, what yes. a performance it would be. Yes, it's going to be. Look, I, I know that Mahomes and Burrow are cool customers. I'm not worried about them getting too geeked up for this game. I'm just worried about everybody else. Based off what we've seen so far, maybe some more penalties in this game. It feels like it's become, mm -hmm. what do you call those, those black and blue games in the, yeah, remember <laughs> the when black I, and I, blue I, division? <laughs> it feels like remember Bill blue division. Yeah. Yeah. Remember when Belichick like used that. to black your ass that, no, stop. 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 Let's stop playoffs because there are playoff implications in this game. The Bengals have an 81% chance to make the playoffs. And the rest of the AFC wildcard race is shaping up to be a tight one. The Chargers are currently on the outside looking in. But they have a 62% chance to reach the playoffs according to ESPN analytics higher than the Jets, largely 
because of each team's remaining schedule. So let's pick a game, shall we? Let's go Chargers, Raiders, this one in Vegas. What do you say, Randy? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of Austin Eckler, the running back for the LA Chargers, because he does so many things well. One thing that I like about a running back, if you're able to stay on the, on the field, for four downs, that's what Austin Eckler gives uh, Justin Herbert. With all that said, I think he's going to be trouble coming out of the backfield today. Give me the L.A. Chargers on the road. Randy, you're right about that because Austin Eckler is trouble for everybody. But I'm looking at the running back on the other team. On who's that? <laughs> and it's Josh Jacobs. I know he's supposedly, you know, nursing a, a calf. And say, that ain't true. Man, Josh Jacobs, come on. Keep pounding the football. Give, Give me him his money. Well, wasn't it a few weeks ago, Derek Carr was talking about there's a lot of guys in this locker room that just don't care. Uh -huh. They don't come into tears. And what two overtime victories will, will, will give you is a lot of guys starting to care. Oh, man, maybe we're better than we thought. You can fake it for a few weeks, though. Okay, <laughs> we'll see who comes out for these Las Vegas Raiders. But I like the way that other guys are stepping up, like Foster Moreau and Keelan Cole in certain situations. Even without Jacobs, I think Devontae Adams can have that type of effect. I'm going to go with the Las Vegas Raiders to win this one. Yeah, it makes sense. It kind of feels like a pick em, pick em game for me a little bit. But uh, I don't know. I just feel like there's something about the Chargers. They feel like a little bit more together as a team. And I think in a tight game, I'll take the team that's family. Not just, not, it looks, like, not just like a, maybe a, a happy a little bit. Yeah. Like a happy, big happy Thanksgiving, not brutal Thanksgiving. Yeah, well, depending on the year. It's like one Thanksgiving's great, the next Thanksgiving's terrible. They're all over the place, this Chargers team. I have trust issues with them. The Raiders were really bad to start, but they've come on as of late. I'm really picking them for two reasons. One, Max Crosby, and two, Josh Jacobs, who leads the league in rushing right now. I'm going Raiders. So let's, uh, let's get to Washington and New York. I'm laughing because I knew this was coming, okay? It's too good. I don't get it. Uh, if you remember last week, uh, Commander's running back Brian Robinson oh, wore his oh, big hat okay, to I celebrate the win. You. So we figured we'd get some of our own and use them to make picks today. It's, it's ridiculous, <laughs> but so are we. So we're going to go with it. Randy, which big hat you taking? Man, I don't even know if my head can fit in this hat, Sam. But <laughs> you're there's good. one thing that's been standing out for me with Washington and the commanders and what they've been doing. All this talk about T Taylor, Tyler Heineke being a quarterback for Washington, but it's something about their running back room as of lately. Ma mainly all season has been showing up, opening up play action game for this young quarterback. Uh, can I fit it, Rex? Give it oh, to me, God. man. Give it to me. Let me get him. Let me get him there. Pull it down a little, Randy. Do no, it I'm going to look at this one, too. I want to take the Giants so bad. Why? Because it'll make my eyes pop. My <laughs> pop. That's but I'm not going to do that. No. I, you know what I see popping? The Giant defense, 22nd in the league. Their offense is ranked 20th in the league. Give me the commanders right there. I'm going with it. Oh, still right. a good rest. Still a good. I'm still trying to figure out Daniel Jones. Okay. Yeah, I don't know who it's going to be. Saquon struggling a little bit. I do like that the hat is nice. Yes. But I'm also going with the Taylor Heineke. I'll go with the Commanders. I'll put it on. Wow. Your How's hair's going to be messed Looks up. Great. Oh, <laughs> hey. I usually wouldn't do this because my hair is fantastic. I know. <laughs> oh, well, no, I don't have to worry about that. And, and Rex, like you, I feel like, you know, th this would have gone with your eyes. This would have gone with my outfit. So, But no, I don't think so, actually, because I think the commanders do a good job of stopping the run. And I think if you can stop Saquon Barkley, I, I look ridiculous. <laughs> I feel ridiculous. Hey, your, oh, hair, no. hey, <laughs> your hair's coming out yeah, the your back, Matt. Uh, you won't have a problem. Fun fact to know and tell about me, I have one green eye and one blue eye, so I'm a little thrown off on which one to go with here. But I am going to go with the New York football giants, and that is because Daniel Jones is about to go off. This yeah. guy wants to get paid. Okay, it's time to do that. They're probably going to lose every game after this. I can't. I can't watch it. Saquon Barkley is not going to have 61 yards the next two. Is this good? No. Yeah. yeah. How, how am I doing, guys? I'm going with the Giants in this game. I think it's a big, I can't keep a straight face while I hey. You know what? I think we actually have serious football here. There's some breaking news. Taylor oh, Heineke coming with hat. the hat. It's a small hat. Uh, Boston's what do, Kelly what do you 